When you buy a level, you try to look after it, but with the best will in the world, they get dropped, they get bashed around, mine get thrown in the back of the van. And so how do you know that that level is still level? Well, obviously you could find something level that you know is level and you could put it on there and then you could just look at the bubble and check it's all right. But you may not even know where there's something level that you can rely on. So what we do is we do a little test with the level and you just put it up anywhere you like and level it up. Now, for ease, you want that bubble right in the middle between the two lines. So that's just slightly out. We go down by a fraction there. Now, I draw a pencil line on there, right close to it. And I draw a pencil line on the other end, close to it. Now I flip the level around and I put it back on that pencil line there and I put it back on that pencil line there and I look at the vial and if the bubble is absolutely in the middle of those two lines then it proves that the level's level. If I found that that bubble was even minutely out then I would know that the level wasn't level. And it's important this because some years ago I built an extension on my first house and I did it every evening when I came home from work, from plumbing. I went out and I did a couple of hours just laying a couple of courses of block work. And by the end of the week, I was very proud of myself. I'd built the block work round just by doing a couple of hours every evening. So week's work, I'd, I'd got the extension built. And then I looked at it in the daylight and I thought, mm, something doesn't seem right there. It was level enough that way, but it wasn't plumb, which is probably the worst thing you can have. It wasn't quite upright. So I got my level out and I put it up on the wall and I thought, yeah, it looks plumb. The level says it's plumb. And then I got another level and I checked it and it was out by probably over the length of the wall by about half an inch, if you like. So with all my effort, a bad level would let me down. Now, if I check that level for level and also for plumb, I would have been sure that it was level and I could have used it because a bad level is a complete liability. It costs you money because you've got to go back and do the job again. Now here, I can't get away with using a bad level. I've got to get these in absolutely spot on because the customer is going to lie in that bath and look at that cabinet. And if it's even a slight spit out, You've got all these telltale lines with the tiles. I'm going to be found out. So what I just did there with the level, if you do that with the plumb as well, put it up against the wall, check the plumb, spin the level round and check the plumb on the other end. And you should find that it's exactly the same. In actual fact, it doesn't matter whether the thing is plumb or not. What matters is the relative position of that bubble to the vial. So this wall is very, very slightly leaning in, but it's okay, it's not enough to worry about. By the way, I should have said, when you do this trick here with the two lines, it also helps to mark the center of the vial. Because if you moved the level up that way or down that way a little bit, it would give you a false reading. So we have to be sure when we turn the level round and we go there, that we center the vial up near enough on that point, find out. So this level gets a clean bill of health. I can carry on using it. It's got shock absorbers on the end. It's got reinforcement in the middle to stop it being bent. Because another thing you want, is a straight level. You don't want one that goes like a banana. So what I should do is check it on a weekly basis at least. So I hope you found that interesting and useful. We'll be back with more tips on Skill Builder very soon. So if you're not a subscriber, become a subscriber. That way we can keep you informed of what's going on.